And while we were staying on the topic of oral health, let's not forget that we are also right in the middle of cold and flu season. I'm sure you guys can kind of hear a little bit <laughs> of what I got going little, on. It's mm -hmm. smoky. Well, I spoke with a few experts to help us avoid spreading germs actually in the workplace. Well, did you know that the flu is responsible for an estimated 70 million missed workdays? Well, the flu is going to severely impact businesses this season. Will your workspace be one of them? Employees and employers are well aware of the impact of the flu on workplace productivity, but many admit that they have actually gone to work with the flu. Well, to help offer up some solutions this morning, we are joined by Chris Carenti and Dr. Germ himself, Dr. Chuck Gerba, a professor right here at the University of Arizona. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Hello. Well, I want to start off by talking about a recent survey that was released. It actually had some pretty big and surprising findings when we're talking about the flu in the workplace. So tell us some of those findings. You know, you're absolutely right. It was pretty surprising. What we found out in the survey was people are incredibly well educated around how they get the flu and how they should stay healthy. The part that was really surprising was the number of people that still go to work even though they have the flu. It's over 50%. So over 50% of the people going to work with the flu, and the reason being is they don't want to fall behind. They have a certain amount of workload, they want to stay current, they don't want to fall behind. The other reason is they see their boss coming in with the flu, and they see their boss kind of gutting it out, and, and that's the example that the boss is setting, which is the wrong example, because what's happening is all these germ hotspots are being created, allowing for the flu to be transferred from one person to another. You know, it's really important to recognize where these hot spots are in the office environment. You know, in our studies, we found out there are certain key areas where you're more likely to encounter germs, and that tends to be the break room you like to see right here where people get to spread both gossip and germs at the same time, uh, desktop areas, and mobile phones. Actually, mobile phones may have 10 times more bacteria than a toilet seat in an average office building. Uh, and it makes germs very mobile because you're moving them around on your cell phones all the time, and you may be touching that phone somewhere else and then depositing germs in other locations you not really suspect. That's what's really important this time of year to practice good uh, hygiene. You can reduce your risk of actually picking up germs in the office environment by using good hand hygiene, washing your hands regularly, using hand sanitizers, and using disinfectant wipes on key surfaces like tabletops and break rooms, desktops, uh, and, and mobile equipment like cell phones. So obviously phones and things that we're touching with our hands are obvious spots that we're spreading germs, but are there any spots that maybe we haven't thought of that we should be making sure that we're wiping down with those disinfectant wipes? Well, some people might not recognize the importance of elevator buttons, particularly the first floor elevator button, because in a multi-story building, everybody has to push that button to get out. Also, the copy machines, for example, the enter button, everybody has to touch. And actually, the, the in door entrance to uh, buildings, too, because everybody has to turn a doorknob or a push plate to actually get in the building. Well, see, I wouldn't have thought about elevator buttons, but that makes perfect sense. So I know that I want to avoid getting the flu this season. So any tips for our viewers this morning, maybe your top three tips on avoiding getting the flu this flu season? Well, there's a few different things you can do. One is a business can create this culture of wellness. And what that is, is letting their employees know if you do have the flu, it's okay to work from home. And if you have the full blown flu, just stay home and rest. Uh, not only will the business appreciate it, but your coworkers will appreciate it because the last thing they want to do is get sick and, and transfer it over to some of their other employees. Well, exactly. So you heard it here. If you're sick, stay home because that is how it gets you know, all over the office. That's how we spread it. So I think this is great. Any more tips that you want to share with our viewers this morning or where we can go for more information? You know, you can get more information at our public website, which is staples.com backslash uh, flu center. And for our business to business customers, it's staplesadvantage.com. In addition to going to any of our stores and, and finding some of the products that Dr. Gerber outlined. Great. Well, I'm going to go wipe down my entire office, but I want to thank you both so much for joining me. What a pleasure to talk to you both. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Now, don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.